Okay, we wanted to touch on the situation going on out in Jersey. Small disclaimer. We don't intend to spook you. Many people are captured by the idea of gang wars, feeling like this stuff is happening every day. It's just documented history. Some of these neighborhoods have long since declined in violence, and these are particular stories. Let's talk about Jersey though. As far as gang culture goes, most may be familiar with the biker clubs and the Crips. Although bloods exist in Jersey, Crips seem to be the most prevalent. Yesterday, battle rapper Sue Surf had been indicted in a RICO case. Almost two weeks ago, it was speculation, and Lisa Evers from Fox 5 would confirm that Surf was indeed not arrested. In between that time and his actual apprehension, people who are in tune with Surf was waiting for him to comment on the situation. Without going too far into detail, he would basically let the people know that things are real. He also spoke of how battle rappers and others of that culture need to appreciate each other more, because you never know when someone could be snatched away within the brotherhood. Some people figured that it would be a matter of time before law enforcement would get surf. On October 13, 2022, the U.S. Marshals Service busted Sue Surf at a home in Jersey City. He was at the home with a woman. They tried to go out the back door, but then when they went outside, they saw that there was a lot of law enforcement. He and the woman went back into the house and refused to come out for about an hour. Authorities called in crisis negotiators, who then talked with Surf until he peacefully surrendered. Sue Surf was taken to the Essex County Jail. The feds have a contract with the county to keep federal detainees there. He is expected to go before a judge in federal court in Newark sometime today. We may or may not get more info. As for Surf, he is one of the most electrifying battle rappers today. Slick staccato raps, which depict his harsh realities, just hit different when he is in the ring. This can be attributed to the fact that he is more believable than much of his counterparts. If you've been watching battle rap for a while, you would have watched his come up and seen him face off against some of the top battlers in the world today, mostly taking place in the URL Ultimate Rap League. Surf and others helped catapult the Battle Rap League in its second stage, after the times of Murdermook, J. Mills, Lux and T-Rex. Being that Smack and the team was just starting to monetize Battle Rap, most of the contestants were not getting paid much money. This meant that while Surf would face top competition in the ring, he would also face adversity in the streets. With the exception of some, nobody knew Battle Rap would be where it's at today, and guys were getting quick money, spitting a few bars for dollars, why not? Remember our story about Joe Light? See? Guys are in the streets for real. As for Surf in the streets and other than being shot and almost losing his life, he's had his fair share of run-ins with the law. He has a criminal record dating back to 2008 from what we know. You can see her, he was arrested in October of that year, for robbery and unlawful possession of a weapon. Not much info or details about it, just that he did 9 months, had a $100,000 bail, and came home the day after it was posted. This was in July of 09. The case would be dismissed. In late May of 2010, there would be another gun charge. Here you can see he did a month and a couple days on that. Not sure if these cases were related and it was in fact the same gun charge. Whatever about that though. In 2012, he was stopped in a car with another man, and they allegedly had a significant amount of crack on them. Approximately 51 bags. It's no secret that Surf is a member of the Rolling 60s neighborhood Crips. On stage is one thing, it's the character, but when Surf is talking to the community, he often talks of how gangs are not cool and not to be glorified. Everything is a catch-22 though, don't let that fly over your head. Besides being electrifying on stage, we have watched him go from rags to riches. No longer the young Surf who was boastful, confident and young, but now a man, who's sometime passively flamboyant and while retaining his traits, he became a spokesperson on pushing the culture to new levels. On July 25, 2018, Surf almost lost his life in what was initially perceived as a gang-related robbery. The shooting took place on the 400 block of Lyons Avenue in Newark, New Jersey. As Surf was at the light talking to his moms on the phone, a gunman hopped out the passenger's side of a vehicle and fired multiple shots through his driver's side window. He caught two bullets in the rib, two in the torso, one in the arm. The gunman would flee, and Surf would get out and start running through traffic. He would attempt to stop other vehicles. Balsam swerved and avoided him, he managed to force his way into one guy's car, who he would direct to the hospital. When they arrived, Surf ran up to the door of the hospital, where he was then treated. 
Almost a week later, it was announced he had woken up from surgery and was recovering. He had to get his stomach stitched up. Not to be confused with glorification, but his near-death experience would add to the credibility of his raps. Not saying he does the things he says in his raps, but it comes across with conviction. As we stated earlier, Jersey is no stranger to the Crips. In 2018, Rollins' 60s gang members in Newark were charged in connection with murder and attempted murder as part of RICO conspiracy. Again, most of this goes under the radar, and we don't want to spook you. These are usually personal beasts dealing with certain individuals of a particular lifestyle. But this is just what's going on so far, and this about wraps it up for this one. And as always, stay low and thanks for watching.